Getting to know you a bit, um, mm -hmm. what made you fall in love with wrestling? Uh, just the glamour of it. I mean, uh, you, you see these larger than life figures on on TV just beating the holy living crap out of each other, and it's 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 just so amazing. And you can literally be anything, do anything you want in professional wrestling. You can be, you can come out, you can be a pimp, you or you can be the, the animal and just completely thrash people in the ring, or you can be a dead guy. Yeah. You can literally be anybody you want to be in professional wrestling, and it's it's been something that has drawn me in since ever since I was a little kid. Um, you know, sneaking into my room when my mom didn't know I was watching, she didn't want me to watch professional wrestling, so it was too violent for mm -hmm. me. Because you know how you know how nitty gritty it was back in the Attitude Era, oh, yeah. and um, yeah, no, I uh, sneaking away to watch uh, pro wrestling, and and you know, going over to my buddy's house, and we we wrestle each other on the mattress, you know, and. Um, uh, when I found out about uh, the professional wrestling that was here in Spokane, I got I immediately got involved in that. You know, from uh, wor working my way up from uh, doing ring crew to uh, making sure wrestlers got what they needed to have. You know, I I, I would make sure that things happened. Yeah. And now and um, that that was with a promotion that's no that there's no longer an operation. And when Casca when we had a, the opportunity to get Cascade Championship Wrestling actually up and going, um, I was I was on it. I was in there. Uh, I, I wanted to really make sure that Spokane had a quality wrestling product that people could come to, a nice family-friendly product. Mm -hmm. And um, after a lot of hard work, it's obviously paid off. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So then uh, you were telling me a little bit ago that you didn't actually go to, like, a school to train. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you get your training in? Like, did you just watch... Uh, other people wrestled and like were people showing you the ropes uh, yeah did... it was um i mean I, I i showed up and i i asked how do i get involved with this and um uh fortunately uh a guy that i've, I've known i've had the privilege of knowing for a couple of years now rick kelly um really was, was the guy who um brought me in and showed me the first couple of basic things of how to be a professional wrestler you know um how to handle myself in the ring how to protect myself um, I, I had to give Rick Kelly a lot of props for that. He um, he really got me into it. And then um, you know, there's I, I I take seminars like whenever we have uh, more experienced wrestlers that come to town, they'll often do seminars before our shows, and I'll, I'll always make sure I'm there doing a seminar. Uh, I um, I would never say that any of these men train me because that's a bit of a taboo thing. Because if you if you haven't actually been legit trained by somebody, that's not something you want to say. But I have been I have I've attended seminars with Bob Evans. And uh, wow. Brutal Bob Evans and Tim Hughes and Marty the Moth, who is the current uh, Lucha Underground champion. Um, we've had, uh, let's see, uh, Kikio the Fallen Flower. We've had her in for for, um, uh, for seminars and uh, lots of others. But it's it's really been a get it while I can. You know, right. I, I, I travel around. Um, I, I just went out to Bremerton a couple weeks ago. I did a match out there. Uh, when you when there isn't a local place to, to really go and like pay for an education, right. especially for you know if you're a person of low means, you know some of these schools are expensive. Yeah. Uh, so you get it where you can. You pick up. You, you pick everybody's brain you can. Um, yeah, it's just um, I get in the ring whenever I can. I learn from uh, anybody who I can take notes from, and it's um, it's been a bit of a process. But yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so. You uh, finished your rookie year um, mm -hmm. this year, right? Yeah. Um, and how long have you actually been with Cascade Wrestling? Like, you finished your rookie year. Uh, how long have you been with them before? Um, well, I, uh, I've, i let's see. Before, I was, I want to say, well, I mean, uh, Cascade's been, we, we just had our two-year anniversary. We're getting ready to do oh, nice. our, our third year, so I've been with them since the beginning. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. It's yeah. been yeah, it's been great. It's amazing. It's literally a dream come true. So cool. Uh, so yeah, I guess just um, tell us about this event tomorrow. All right. So tomorrow at uh, tomorrow Cascade Championship Wrestling, we're hosting a show. Uh, it's the Cascade Clash. 
And the main event is, so Rick Kelly, he had to vacate the title last last month because he was, uh, the A-team ambushed him. Because mm. Shane McClain, Shane McClain knows he can't beat Rick Kelly one-on-one. So him and his boys, they took him out, right? So Rick, Rick wasn't there to defend to defend this title, so it was put up for grabs in the, in the Cascade Monster Mash. And I... I, I started off number four. I fought through everybody. Me and Shane were the final two, and I I ended up getting the one, two, three, the win over him. Oh wow! And so this Friday it's going to be a triple threat between Brad Elliott, Shane McClain, and Rick Kelly. Wow! And it's going to be it's going to be a fight. It's yeah. Be a triple threat match, playa. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like since you said Rick Kelly was one who helped you uh, learn. How, mm-hmm. Like your ropes, so I'm guessing there's like mad, mad respect. Oh, absolutely. I got, I got, yeah, I have nothing but respect for Rick Kelly. Um, there's it, yeah, I just, I can't say it's, it's hard to put it into words. I yeah. mean, I, I owe the guy a lot, so it, it, it'll really be, um, I've, I've, uh, I've only uh, locked up with him a couple of times, but this will be, um, this is something I take very seriously. Totally. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm in the ring with uh, a legit, uh, OG of the business, Shane McLean. He he's wrestled all over the country. Oh, wow. The guy's wrestled uh, MVP. He, he's he, he's wrestled all the big names you can think of. Yeah. So the guy is is a legit threat. Like this is this isn't something you can take you, you can take lightly. And Rick Kelly, Rick Kelly is a is a. I mean, you know, uh, for a guy of his for, for a guy of his size, he's he's formidable. Yeah. So I'm um, going against two guys who obviously are more experienced than I am. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get creative with how I'm gonna do this. Yeah. But I, I fully intend to hold on to my title. Totally, man. That's so, so cool. Um, I actually would love to get uh, some like fan questions if, or questions for uh, you from the chat if there's anything or anyone wanting to say anything. But um, before that, I actually uh, would love to kind of. We've had a heckler actually for the last couple of days. Yeah. Uh, right on there. C double. Um, C double says. Uh, what is it? Hey, then you stole Rook's right belt. What a great way to say thanks. <laughs> oh man. So I'm 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 gonna guess that this is uh, someone with the promotion. Uh, do you have any idea who it might be? Uh, I have I have a couple ideas of who this could be. It, um, but there I've I have always had hecklers. I mean, there, right. there's always been people who've uh, who you know root for whoever I'm not who, root for whoever I'm fighting. So it's um, you know. Uh, Success brings hate. Yeah, you know, totally. and so it's. Uh, it, I, I didn't steal Rook's title. I won this fair and square, and I fought t- nineteen other people to get it. Mm-hmm. Um, I almost had my nose broken. My uh, my 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 eye was swollen shut after the match. I, I don't know if I, if you saw the promo promo that I cut. Uh, like immediately after the match, I was so incoherent I could barely answer questions. Oh, um, this wasn't yeah, stolen. This wasn't stolen. This was not easy to get. Uh, this was earned through sweat and blood. Yeah. Yeah. This is an earned title, not a stolen title, and I intend to keep it. Totally. And now this is this uh, like once you uh, like this is this triple threat match. That's basically going to be Rook's uh, rematch, or would you give him a one on one match? This would be Rook's rematch clause. This is how okay. he's chosen. Uh, this is how it's been chosen. He's chosen, or uh, management has chosen to to give Rook the second chance or a chance to, to to reclaim his title. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But yeah. Um. I'll open it up to uh, the chat. Is there uh, any any questions you want to ask, uh, Brad? I'm open for questions. Yeah. S- soon could be Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Elliott. Who knows? Brad uh, Elliott. Or, yeah. There we go. Yeah. You know, Brad rocks. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, uh, shameless self-promotion here. At, uh, at, the, at the show on Friday, me and my best friend, Jay Manson, we are the, the League of Super Best Friends. Okay. All right. So uh, we've been getting begged for months to, to, to come out with, with merchandise, you know, but finally we have it. Yeah. It's, it's going to be the League of Super Best Friends logo over a blue shirt. It's going to be nice. So if you guys show up to the show, you come and buy a League of Super Best Friends shirt, you can be a League of – you can be a Super Best Friend. That's awesome. You can be, yep. Uh, so we're going to have uh, – uh, they're all adult sizes right now, so we're just doing a trial thing to see if people are interested in them. Yeah. Also, Brad Elliott shirts are now in kid sizes. Uh, as well as adults, we have uh, um, all new sizes. Nice. We've we'll, we'll been restocked now because I've been out of a couple sizes for a while. Right. So, you know, 
the life of a traveling professional wrestler is not always the most profitable one. Yeah. So it's hard, you know, sometimes it's hard to get merchandise. But yeah, there we go. That's cool. All right. Well, if, uh, well. Uh, oh, what type of match yeah. would you like to defend your belt in next? That's a great one. That's a good one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I've never been in a ladder match before. Ladder match would nah, be That'd be sweet. Ladder match would be sweet. Uh, yeah, ladder match. I've never been in a ladder match before. I think that would be a great way to, uh, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Uh, what other matches have you been in? Haven't I been in? Yeah. Like, Haven't I been in? Actually, I guess a good question would be, what have you been in? Well, there's, okay, so I've Maybe. been, of course, I've been in one-on-ones. I've been on, yeah. uh, I, um, I was, uh, one of the, I was one half of the first ever Cascade Tag Team Champions. So I've done tag matches. I've done you know, three uh, six man tag matches. I've done five on fives. Um, of course, uh, rumble style matches. Um, uh, let's see. No, I've, I've never really done anything like hard, hardcore. Like, right. no, I haven't done anything with like a lot of weapons. So it's um, definitely doing something with uh, ladder, you know, like t- TLC, you know, but like um, I've tried to stay away from stuff that'll, that could potentially career end me. Right. Um, but it's, uh, you know, like, um, any combat sports fighters got to understand you got to pick your battles. Totally. So, but yeah, no, um, I've never been in a ladder match. I've never been in a tables match. Um, let's see, uh, three stages of hell. Never done that. Ooh. Yeah. I've, um, let's see. I think I have done, um, two or three falls like we were just doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, um. Compared to the, but like I said before, compared to the guys that I'm going in, going in against on Friday, they're vastly more experienced than I am. Right. So this is gonna, this is gonna be, well, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a fight. Um, like I said, it's gonna take a lot of creativity um, to get through this. <sighs> it's gonna be sweet though. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I personally haven't actually been to a, an event yet, but this will, this Friday will be my first time and. I followed a little bit of, <coughs> followed just a little bit of social media. Stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm not entirely so a hundred percent familiar with, with what you guys do, but okay. I am super excited actually just uh, to watch and learn. Absolutely. Uh, man. So yeah, if you guys are interested, um, I believe tickets are five bucks or free, but five bucks for so if seating. it's free to stand, we encourage you buy a chair. Is right. um. Uh, Buying a chair pays, you know, uh, obviously, if nobody pays to see the show, wrestlers don't get paid. Right. You know, uh, venue doesn't get paid for. So if you guys want to support local wrestling, please, uh, when you come to the show, it's $5 a chair. Uh, veterans get a discount. I think it's uh, $3 for, okay. for veterans. Um, everybody else, $5 a chair. You know I mean? It, it's it, it's 5 bucks for two hours of entertainment. I mean, that you, you don't get, you can't really pay 5 bucks to get really anything quality anymore, but. Five dollars, two hours, two hours of entertainment. Yeah, I think that's plenty worth it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, cool. Well, if you uh, plan on going, or if you are just on the fence, just go. Uh, it'll Absolutely, be, it'll be fun. Um, most underrated guy in Cascade. Most underrated guy in Cascade. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I would say Roger Hawkins. Roger Hawkins. Roger okay. Hawkins is Roger Hawkins is awesome. Very humble guy. Very nice guy. Uh, a lot of people to see him as uh, a small guy in a mask and he's so much more than that Roger Hawking and he he just had a match with Gregor Petrov at this at at the at the the monster match and he had the best match of his entire career he and Petrov were back and forth I I really honestly had no idea who was going to win this up until the last part up until the last minute Uh, Roger Hawking has got energy he's got drive he's uh, really expanding his 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 moveset and his repertoire and he's turning into a legit dangerous person in the ring. Uh, it, in any, I, I would say this to anybody who watches Cascade. The guy to keep your eye on up and coming is Roger Hawking. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds fun. Yeah. Cool. Um, who would you like to see on uh, this SWX show next? Oh, hmm. playing video games? Yeah. Oh, man, it'd be cool to have my buddy in here, Jay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jay Manson, he's a he's, he's a. If you ever see any of his shirts, there it's like a pixelated. It looks like like a in, like a Super Mario oh, version yeah, yeah, of himself. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. So Jay is <laughs> Jay's a total like he's a bigger game nerd than I am. So he would love this. He yeah. Would love this. Yeah. 
Yeah, awesome. We can, um, the super, we can get the League of Super Best Friends on SWX. Yeah, maybe uh, the League of Super Best Friends can uh, come in tomorrow or for the finals if you guys make, if you make it. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be sweet. Yeah. So seriously, thank you again for stopping Absolutely by. Man. No problem. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, man. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, C double, uh, you are actually very very entertaining uh, to just read and just to, to, just to watch the the heckling. Um, <laughs> so Good questions though, Good yeah, questions. great, very great questions. Uh, re- really turning that around. Uh, so yeah, thank you. If you haven't followed us, uh, give us a follow, um, and we'll actually be having more uh, d- tournaments like this. Probably dur- like every one of the big five pay per views for WWE, or actually maybe whenever there's more uh, stuff going on. So. Yeah, if you guys like this, uh, just let us know, and we definitely would love to do more like this, more stuff like this. So, yeah, thank you again, and see you tomorrow.